Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to do energy analysis in RivetMib. First, go to Analyze tab and select Energy Setting. Now, verify that the ground plane is level 1 and the project phase is new construction. Then, go below and select Other Option Edit. And here, verify that the building type is Office and the HVAC system is Central VEV. Now, go below and Select schematic types and tick override for all these categories and change the roof to 8 inch lightweight concrete. And now click OK and then OK, OK. Now go to Analyze tab and select Schedule and Quantities. In the categories, select HVAC spaces and rename it heating and cooling load. And press OK. In the schedule properties, go and select name and number and calculated cooling load and calculating heating load. Then click add parameter. Now we need to reorder these, make the number in the first, and then the name. Then go to sorting and grouping, sort by number and ascending. Then cl click OK to finish the setting. As you see, the heating and cooling loads are not computed yet because we didn't ask Rivet to calculate these loads yet. Now, from Analyze tab, go and select Heating and Cooling Loads. Then, from General tab, go and select Location. You have two options to select the location. You have Internet Mapping Surface and Default City List. Then, we have here the Weather, Data, Cooling Design Temperatures. Now, we will accept the default location. Now, go to Details tab and select, for example, one office south. As you can see, under this zone, we have six spaces. To change the properties of this zone, we can reach here and change the heating information and cooling information. Under heating information, we have the heating set point and the supply heating air temperature. And if we want to enable the humidification control to set the humidification set point. And also we have the cooling information. We have the cooling set point and the supply cooling air temperature. And if we want to enable the humidification control and set the, the dehumidification set point. If we want to reach the details of the space, we can click on one of the space under its zone and change the properties of it, such as people and electrical loads, including the lighting and power. Now let us go to anal analytical surfaces. Under analytical surfaces, we have this icon highlight and isolate. If I want to isolate this zone, I can click isolate. So I can see this zone what includes okay the six spaces here and if i want to click on this office i can click isolate and it is shown here i can click on the exterior walls and see them interior walls ceilings and the floor now after we finish see this click one more time on isolate to see the full building and we can click calculate As you can see, this the loads report, and here is the calculated cooling and heating loads. As you can see here, these spaces are not computed because we have mentioned earlier that these spaces are not occupied and are not uh, conditioned. Let us go and review some figures in loads report. As we can see, the peak cooling total load is 114 kilowatt and uh, the big cooling month and hour August 3 pm here we have the psychrometric properties and calculated results check sums here and we have also the outdoor design temperature for the zone summary we have here the 
the cooling set point, the heating set point, the supply air temperature, and the relative humidity for the zone. And here we have finished for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.